What's going on, brothers? It's let me tell you the name. Got a video for you. It's written title, Fiends Oblivion, Part 17. Here goes. So, it looks like uh, down in Florida, there was a women's only tech conference and job fair that was operating. And a lot of men showed up to that conference to capitalize on job opportunities. And they all registered as non-binary. And of course, the fem sales and the ditch pigs got angry and started blowing their shit. But I gotta say it like this. All these men are doing is using your rules against you. That's what they're doing. Because for the past 55 years, these same fem sales and ditch pigs who are complaining about them going to that conference, they have tilted the playing field and even barred the door to employment for certain men who are looking for work. So it was that much harder for those men to find employment for jobs that they needed. That's why I really don't have a problem with this. You think what they're doing is devious and underhanded? Well, we could say the same thing about these trobs and ditch pigs who go to these gyms, set up a tripod, or have a leaning smartphone, and then they start crying wolf for social media clout. You know, just sitting there lying your ass off. And here we are. These fem sales, these ditch pigs are mad because these men have capitalized on job opportunities by registering as non-binary. But then they're saying, one of them is saying, well, you can't, there's no proof that these guys are non-binary. I said, okay, so let's say that you go searching through their history and you dox them and then they can sue you. Or if you start harassing them, they can pull out the istism phobe hammer, hammer and hit you over the head with it. Mm hmm. Either way, if you don't back off of them, they're going to eat your lunch. And I got to see it like this. This is what these fem cells, these ditch pigs, and these psychotic malcontents set themselves up for. This is the end result of them tilting the playing field for 55 years. You see, it was fun and games when men were losing their spaces and when men weren't being able to get hired. It was fun and games until they learned to just and adapted. But they don't like it. And I gotta say, well, that's tough shit. And the funny thing about this is that wasn't there a Russian IT CEO who said herself that she didn't like hiring women to be programmers? You see, the feminists and the ditch pigs, they had her head for saying that because she exposed a truth that brothers with their soul, brothers with eyes ears to hear of all ways new when it come, came, basically when it came to employment and in, in the, basically in the, in the job in the job market in the, in the basically in the workplace these women will burn out faster these women will come in late and leave earlier or take more sick leave and that Russian IT CEO basically said that she doesn't like hiring women because women are lazy she said that male programmers will work longer hours and she preferred them but those men went to that tech conference and to capitalize on job opportunities I, know, I understand things are getting rough things are getting tough you know the inflation the cost of food and water gas is going through the roof and I don't blame them But that's just a prime example of things fading into oblivion, especially in the civilization we live in. It's really sad that these young men who have the chops for IT, they gotta do what they gotta do to capitalize on job opportunities. It's a damn shame, but hey, who's gonna feed them? Who's gonna pay their bills? Who's gonna stick up for them? Huh? 
Who is going to stick up for them? Nobody. Because from the time they're young to when they reach adulthood, they've been jelly stomped and steamrolled and told that they can either stick or starve. That's their life. That's my life. That's why I kick ass in my trade and I'm ruthless about it. And that's why I'm also adding to my skill set. Mm hmm. That's just how it is. Those dimension creatures in the high place are not taking a break, they will continue in their mischief. And it's up to us to learn just to adapt. It sucks. That's what we're faced with. And of course, these fem cells, these ditch pigs don't like it. And I say that's tough shit. They should have thought about that before they destroyed the nuclear family. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just said it. The fem cells, these feminists are responsible for destroying the nuclear family. Linda Gordon got her wish. She said the nuclear family must be destroyed. And the feminists also took it a step further and said that it doesn't matter if a few innocent men's lives ruin all it matters to this matter to the patriarchy. Emily Lennon said that. This pretty much means that nothing is off limits as long as you're destroying the patriarchy. Which means she gave women a carte blanche to lie, cheat, steal. And so I don't blame these men for registering as non-binary and going down there to capitalize on job opportunities. I hope they kick ass in their trade. I hope so. It is what it is. Well, it's not what I think, brothers. What are your thoughts? Hear me in the comment section. Mm hmm. Love to hear them there. This is Lana McTail. That's all I got for you. I'd be bad at sharing the comments here for free to subscribe. If you're enjoying it, visit my chain, find tip jar on the upper right inside of the screen. This is Jeepless Icon. All right, fam? All right, brethren, you know the drill, you know the routine. Go away the way, SYSBM. That's for these ditch pigs, these fem cells, and these psychotic malcontents who have a problem with men learning, adjusting, and adapting. Give them nothing. This is McTow PSC. Welcome to tight. See you soon.